Hi there, good evening. Welcome to our first story time of the week, Tuesday night. And um, yes, as it says up there, Oi, bedtime story. And we'll explain. That sounds a bit abrupt, doesn't it? Oi, bedtime story. I'll explain why in a moment or two. So um, thanks for joining us, wherever you're joining us from. Um, and whatever time you're joining us at. I know that uh, lots of people watch our story times uh, on Catch Up or from the school website. Um, last week, our first week back um, doing our stories, uh, in this lockdown, we had more than 700 people watching all of the stories. So it's lovely to welcome uh, all of you uh, to join us either live, as we do now. If you are live, pop a comment in the comment box. Let us know uh, that you're watching. Let us know what you've been up to today. And we'll give you a shout out. And we might even, let's see if I can remember how to do this now. We might even pop your, there we go. We might even pop your comment up there. Hello. It's Ryan, I miss you. Yes, we miss you, Ryan, we do. And it's lovely to see you. So we'll just make sure if we've got all our sound effects, not that we need them for tonight's story. <laughs> I'm just going to do this big loud one because I really like this. It's called... Yay! If you were sleeping before and you were about to drop off to sleep, I think that's probably fixed that now, so you probably won't be ready to go to sleep now. Anyway, um, yeah, what a horrible day it's been today. Pretty much most of this afternoon, heavy rain. I was going to go out for a run after school, when I came home from school this evening, but uh, yeah, yeah, I chickened out of it. A bit too wet for me. I might go out in the morning. So yeah, I hope you're well. I hope you've had a good day. Um, I've got my hot chocolate here. Have you got, you got your... Um, hot chocolate. I've got some, look, some flapjack. I don't know if you can see that. Look, I made this myself. It's a bit crun it's a bit crumbly. Maybe I haven't put enough golden syrup in it. But I do like flapjack. I had some in school today. And I told Rob, the caretaker, I said, Rob, I've made some flapjack. He said, oh, did you leave some for me? I said, yes, I did. It's all over my carpet. Would you mind hoovering it, please? So um, I might bring some flapjack in for Rob tomorrow. Um... Yeah, so our new pattern for story times is on a Friday night, uh, sorry, Friday night, is on a Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, we have collective worship, lots of you joined us last night, for, uh, yesterday from school at half past nine, so thanks for that, and we've also got on Friday afternoon, well done assembly, and we'll send out a Zoom link for that so that you can join us live for that as well, remember that uh, children can win awards for doing good work at home or for showing a good attitude to, to your learning or for helping out at home whatever way so it's not only children at school that are up for the well done awards um, this week it's everybody can be involved so keep up the good work everybody uh, so that's uh, Monday mornings this is going to be the shape of our next few weeks Monday morning collective worship half past nine Tuesday Wednesday Thursday story times Friday well done assembly and on Thursday of this week we're going to be having a meeting for parents, so I think that's going to be around about two o'clock and we'll send a Zoom link just to drop in, check in for parents, have a quick chat because we do, we know that we're, lots of children have been making, uh, having conversations with teachers during the wellbeing calls and it's just a session for parents to check up with you and how the home learning is going to know if there's any way in which we can offer you any support. Just to, also just to put into perspective what it is that, uh, that we're doing. So a bit of a chat, Thursday afternoon at two o'clock, and I think we may repeat it at six o'clock on Thursday evening, all being well. And again, we'll send the link out for that. And that's uh, it's not compulsory, it's open for parents to drop in if you want. Um, we'll have, we can have a bit of a conversation. Uh, I'll have a bit of chat with you about what we're doing in the home learning, and um, you can make comments and, and so on. We can have a bit of chat. So just a bit of a catch up. Uh, just to keep in touch. So that's great. I can see Anne's in the house tonight. So good evening, Anne. Welcome. And um, thanks for joining us again for story time. I've got a few messages to share with you this evening. I've got lots of messages from um, staff in school. Too many to read out tonight. So I'm just going to read the first uh, few. So let's have a look and see if I can find them. We've got a message here from Miss Cunningham. And Miss Cunningham and Mrs. Lambton have received outstanding Victorian timelines 
and wonderful pieces of creative writing linked to the street child so far this week. So that's great. Uh, really good to see and hear that uh, the children in Year 6 have been doing some creative writing. Well done to all of Year 6 for completing their tasks every day. Miss Barnes sends a message to say, Miss Barnes and Miss Cummings say a big hello to Year 1. We are so pleased to see all of the outstanding work and videos and crafts and photos on Seesaw and look forward to seeing you all in the Year 1 Zoom call on Friday morning. Isn't that great? And Mrs Murray sends a message to say, Mrs Murray and Mrs Nixon have been amazed with the work nursery and reception children have been doing at school and at home. So well done, everybody. More messages tomorrow night, but uh, let me just say that it's been lovely to see. I had a conversation with Miss Haddo on Friday and we were talking about some of the work that has been going on in Seesaw and I had a chance to have a look at it as well, which was great. Um, great to see some of the work that, that has been taking place. We're really pleased with it. So well done, boys and girls, and well done, parents as well. Because uh, and, and of course, well done to the, the staff too for keeping it all ticking along. Um, so there we go, messages from school. And uh, let's can I just remind you about our parent survey. So parents, you've got some homework to do as well. If you haven't already done it, we are um, we're doing a, a survey on the home learning, the technology. And Mrs Ewing's at the door there. What's the matter? Are we okay? Yeah, okay, we're okay. <laughs> yeah, um, so we're doing... What was I saying, Mrs Ewing? I've lost my thread. Now, what was this? Can you remind me what I was talking about? Oh, yes, parents' homework. Yes, goodness me. Thank you, Mrs Ewing. Off you go, because I'm going to get distracted. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. So, um... I've lost my train of thought now. Parents' homework. Thank you so much to the 98 people tonight, just before I checked, before I came on, to the 98 people who have completed our technology survey. And um, that is really good, really useful information for us um, because we, we're obviously setting lots of the work on Seesaw and Tapestry. And it, we know that every house is different in terms of uh, how you access that, whether it's through a phone, a tablet, a PC, a laptop, uh, an Xbox. Some people can get onto the internet through there. Um, not everyone has got broadband at home as well. So it's just really useful to know uh, how, uh, how you're getting on with that. So thank you for that. If That's 98 people. We know that there's lots of families with brothers and sisters in the school. So we think we've probably covered about 75% of families in the school, which is fantastic so far, considering today is only Tuesday. And we put that uh, survey up on Friday evening. So brilliant response. Thank you so much for that. Keep them coming, please. We'll, keep, we'll send another couple of reminders over the next couple of days. And if you've already completed it, don't... I hope you don't feel like we're, we're nagging. Uh, hello to Auntie Moira, uh, who lives up in East Kilbride. Thank you for joining us, Auntie Moira. And hi, Tina, who lives in Glasgow. That's my sister. Thanks, Tina, for joining us as well. And also, you can just see their picture in the corner there. That's Georgie and Lily, who I think are listening to Bedtime Story as well. So hi, Georgie and Lily. And yes, it's okay to go to bed before Frankie. He's just a baby, and uh, you need your sleep. So, there we go. Now then, tonight's story. Why did we say oi, bedtime story? Well, there's an author, well, a couple of authors, and they've written a few stories called uh, uh, oi. So they've written, a, it's uh, two people, Kess and Claire Gray, and they've written oi frog, oi cat, oi puppies, and oi duck-billed platypus. And tonight we're going to read the story of Oi dog. So there we go. I don't know if you've know if you know these stories. If you don't know these stories, these are going to be as legendary as the Wonky Donkey stories series of stories as well because they're great fun. Um, okay, so here we go. So oi. Dog, look. What kind of dog is he? Can you work out from the photograph there? Maybe you can. Okay, oi dog. Oi dog, get off the frog. But I like sitting on frogs, 
said the dog. Frogs are all squishy and squashy, and when you sit on them, they go... Plurp. Look, I don't think the frog is very happy about the dog sitting on it. You know the rules, said the cat. Cats can be a bit bossy sometimes. Cats sit on mats, frogs sit on logs, and dogs sit on frogs. Well, look, the frog is in full teacher mode here. Well, I'm changing the rules, said the frog. From now on, dogs sit on logs, not frogs. Really? said the dog. Really? said the frog. Dogs sit on logs. Drawn a picture on the blackboard. Dogs sit on logs. Cats sit on gnats. Ouch. I wonder if gnats are prickly to sit on. I don't think I've ever sat in a gnat, but I suspect they might nip. What will bears sit on? asked the dog. Bears will sit on the stairs. You worked it out, didn't you? What will, sl what will slugs sit on? Slugs will sit on plugs, said the frog. Slugs will sit on plugs. Flies will sit on pies. You can probably, if you can see these pictures, you can get to the words before I can. Crickets will sit on tickets. And moths will sit on Cloths, yeah, that's correct. Well, what will leopards sit on? Said the dog. Leopards will sit on shepherds, said the frog. Leopards will sit on shepherds and cheetahs. Oh, look at that. Cheetahs will sit on fajitas. Do you like fajitas? We love fajitas in this house. You're really getting the hang of this, said dog. I know, said the frog, and that's not all. Gnus will sit on canoes, pigs will sit on wigs, look at them, and boars will sit on oars. Well, what will whales sit on, said the dog. I wonder if you can work out what whales would sit on, what would rhyme with whales? Well, there you go. Whales will sit on nails, said the frog. Hmm, I'm not sure the whales will like that, said the dog. They don't have to like it, said the frog. They just have to do it. Those are rules. What will dragons sit on, said the dog? Dragons? Well, they'll sit on wagons, said the frog. Dragons will sit on wagons. Kittens will sit on mittens. And puppies will sit on guppies. And mice? Well, they will sit on ice. Are you getting the hang of this? There's a lot of rhyming in this story. Well, what will crabs sit on? Asked the dog. Crabs will sit on kebabs, of course, said the frog. Crabs will sit on kebabs. Poodles will sit on... I don't know if you can see that. It's a bit grainy, the picture. Grainy. Um, poodles will sit on noodles. Hornets will sit on cornets. Skunks will sit on trunks and elephants will sit on smelly pants. <laughs> elephants aren't going to sit on smelly pants, gasped the dog. They are now, smiled the frog. Hold on, said the cat. If dogs sit on logs, Cats on gnats, bears sit on stairs, slugs sit on plugs, flies sit on pies, crickets sit on tickets, moths sit on cloths, leopards sit on shepherds, cheetahs sit on fajitas, gnus sit on canoes, pigs sit on, boars sit on oars, whales sit on, ouch, nails, dragons sit on wagons, mice sit on ice, kittens sit on mittens, puppies sit on guppies, crabs sit on kebabs, poodles sit on noodles, hornets sit on 
cornets, skunks sit on trunks, and elephants sit on, you remember this one, don't you, smelly pants. What are frogs going to sit on? asked the dog. What are frogs going to sit on? Do you know what frogs are going to sit on? Sun loungers, said the frog. <laughs> and look at that frog having done all that hard work with all those rhyming words, resting on the sun loungers. And I don't know if cat and dog are too impressed. What a great story, oi dog. Well, there's lots more in that series. And maybe if you read some more of these books, you might find out what foxes sit on. Or ants, who knows, or bees. Maybe you can work it out already before you've read the story. So there we go, oi dog. I hope you enjoyed that tonight. That was I really enjoyed that story. And, uh, and I have read with Georgie and Lily some of the other stories in the series as well. So I'm sure you will uh, enjoy uh, some of those other stories as well. But that was oi dog. So thank you very much for that. Great. So, um, just a reminder then, a couple of things that I mentioned at the beginning. Back tomorrow night for story time at, at 6.45. Back in Thursday night at 6.45. And for boys and girls in the school, well done assembly Friday afternoon, half past one. And it'll not be on Facebook. We'll send you the link on Zoom. And we'll also have a meeting for parents at two o'clock on Thursday. And we'll send you the link for that on Zoom as well. So, busy week. Keep up the good work, everybody. It's great to hear and to see that... Um, that lots of our children have got their little timetable together and um, and are working help being helped by their parents but are helping to get their, themselves organized for the day and getting through the, the work which is great so before we finish can I just say thank you so much for joining us whether it's been live or whether it's later on and catch up it really is a joy to connect with people through our story times and through the other ways that we're doing it I know one of the highlights of last week, Mrs. Craig sent me a photograph of the reception class all joined together on a Zoom call. And it just was lovely to see people uh, happy and chatting to each other about what they've been doing. So if you get the chance to join on a Zoom call with your class teacher, then, uh, then I hope that you're able to do that. So thank you for that. So before we finish, we'll just pause for a moment and we'll say together our night prayer. God, our Father, I come to say... Thank you for your love today. Thank you for my family and all the friends you give to me. Guard me in the dark of night and in the morning. Send your light. Amen. Thanks for joining. Stay safe, everybody. See you tomorrow evening. Bye.